School is back in session, but one San Fernando Valley community is worried its kids aren't as safe as they were before school let out. And that's because their school was missing a major crosswalk. So they turned to two on your side for help. And CBS 2's Christine Lazar joins us now to explain exactly what happened. Christine. Well, Pat and Rick, the good news was that they repaved the streets around Reseda Elementary when the school year ended. The bad news was they didn't repaint the crosswalk. There's no crosswalk. This leads right into the school. Something is missing outside Reseda Elementary. It's, not, it's ridiculous. When the city repaved the street that lines the back of the school back on June 1st, they failed to come back and repaint the bright yellow lines of the crosswalk. I see people running that stop sign constantly. Now, this is right outside of school. There's no safe way for the kids to get back and forth. Eileen Campbell lives nearby. She says she and her neighbors repeatedly called and emailed the city, begging them to get the work done. Last week, Campbell sent this email to her councilman, Bob Blumenfield, asking, is it going to take a child being killed to have a crosswalk repainted? Do you feel like you've gotten any sort of response? Not from anyone other than you. Campbell asked two on your side to come out and see for ourselves. It's clear that a crosswalk was once here, but the yellow lines have been covered by asphalt. Kids run across the street without much protection. They just cross and run, and they think that the cars are going to automatically stop, and they don't. All the cars that go through this neighborhood drive like they're on the freeway. This woman is a babysitter who picks up two kids after school and lives down the street. And I've almost been hit many times, and I'm an adult. Even the principal at Reseda Elementary reached out to the city, asking them to get the lines painted. She also didn't get a response, but we did. Two on your side reached out to the councilman's office, and they assured us the matter would be expedited, but still could take up to two weeks. But the very next morning, the crosswalk was back, even better than before. They added all these horizontal lines, less than 24 hours after we got involved. We asked the Department of Transportation why the crosswalk hadn't been painted when other street markings had, and they couldn't give us a straight answer. But the people who live in the community, the principal, the school district, they don't care why. It's back, and they're happy. Mm. And the kids are hopefully safer. Great work. Thank you. All right.